Hello, you're watching James. My name's James, you're watching me, and I'm talking about watches. Well, welcome to part two of this three-part series involving my used second-hand Yonkers Bauerhaus style watch. If you haven't watched the first part, I released it a couple of days ago. It used the Cape Cod cloth to bring back the case from a slightly used look and brightened it up, made it look nice and shiny, and I was actually quite impressed by the results. So today I'm going to be using PolyWatch to try and get the same effect from the acrylic crystal that's on the watch. Now, this acrylic crystal is in reasonable condition. There's no deep gouges or scratches that I need to worry about, but it obviously has been used well, it has been well loved, and there are some micro scratches in that acrylic. So what I'm hoping today is that this PolyWatch brings it back to almost new condition. And if you're enjoying this series and you're enjoying this watch, well, stay tuned. Very shortly in a few days, I'll be releasing part three of this series where I'm going to be talking about the history of the Yonkers brand and give you a bit of a review of this specific watch. But let's jump into this part two of the video and see how well this acrylic crystal comes up using PolyWatch. So here we have some PolyWatch. It's only a small tube, five grams. I only got the small one because I'm not going to be using it much and why spend the extra money on a bigger tube when I'm not going to use it. So what it says on here, I'm going to read the English obviously, apply PolyWatch to the plastic watch crystal, polish the scratch area for two to three minutes with pressure, using a piece of cotton wool, deeply scratched needs to be treated more than once. So I think I have the perfect candidate for this. I'm going to be continuing to refresh my Yonkers Bauhaus watch. So let's bring it in and let's give this a go and see if we can sort of clean up this acrylic crystal a little bit. And again, I think this is the perfect candidate for this refresh of the whole watch itself. Again, I'm not completely refurbishing it. I'm just refreshing it a little bit. If you have a look on the acrylic crystal, and it might be a little bit hard to see, there are lots of tiny, tiny little micro scratches. And they are very, very small. I admit there's nothing too significant here, nothing too bad. And even when you're looking down the watch, you don't really see it. But because whoever owned this previously to me obviously loved this watch and wore it quite a lot, it obviously picked up just some general wear and tear marks. And what I'm hoping to do is with this poly watch, just bring this watch basically back to new. That's the hope anyway. And I think with these absolutely tiny little marks that are on it, that this is the perfect candidate to give poly watch a go and see if it actually works. So I've got a soft background so that I don't damage the back of the watch as I'm pushing on it. It does say to use cotton wool buds. That seemed a little bit odd. I was gonna be using something like this but this is what it says to use, so this is what I'm going to use. So let's give it a go. Obviously it says do it for two to three minutes. It doesn't really say how much you put on there, but I'm just gonna put it all on. Might as well put a chunk on. Kind of comes out like this white goo. Almost looks like a glue, to be honest. And let's get into it. Obviously I am going to be speeding up this video because two to three minutes of watching me go round and round circles with the cotton wool buds is probably gonna be a little bit boring. The good thing about doing this on a watch, when you're timing it, well, I'm gonna use the watch itself to time myself. How convenient. All right, so we're at about 15 seconds so far, 20 seconds, and let's keep going round and round circles for two to three minutes. All right, so there we have three minutes of polishing away. I'm just gonna go over with another piece just to clean off any excess. So the way that this poly watch works what it is, it's a very, 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 very fine polishing liquid. So it actually polishes the top of the crystal. And because this crystal is not really crystal, it's plastic, isn't it? It's an acrylic plastic. If you do a very fine polish over the top of it, you sort of blend those sort of scratches into each other. And you sort of polish them out. Just like if you get a really minor scratch on your car and you can use like a little buffing sort of polish and you polish that scratch out. Exactly the same technique, exactly the same method, exactly the same technology that we're using here, just to take out all those little micro scratches inside or on top of this acrylic crystal slash plastic. I can already tell that it looks better than before. And it's funny because I couldn't really tell that there was too many issues with it, but I can already see the light is now going through that acrylic crystal better than it was before. All right, I think we've had a huge success. Wow, that looks absolutely amazing. I, I have to say, it looks brand new again. There is not one tiny little scratch on there anymore. I knew this would be a good candidate for the PolyWatch because there wasn't any huge deep 
gouges or scratches, just that light wear. Oh, I'm not sure if that's really showing up as much as I would like it to show, but wow, it looks absolutely brand new. I'm really impressed. So there you go, PolyWatch. It actually does what they say it's going to do. People do talk about this a lot on YouTube. It's worth having some if you have an acrylic crystal. Thank you very much for watching. This is the conclusion of part two of this video of my refresh of my Yonkers automatic Bauhaus watch. Please stay tuned. In the very near future, I'll have part three. Part three is actually going to be a review of the Yonkers watch. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the Yonkers brand, the Yonkers watches, and the history that's connected to the Yonkers family. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.